Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying one of the Mama Cozy's Pizza Kitchen. This is a take and bake ultimate meat medium pizza. Uh, so it has a traditional crust. It's 12, a 12 inch pizza. This was $4.89 at Aldi. Wow, $4.89. That is so cheap. I mean, that's... That's like the price of a cheap frozen pizza. That's really, really cheap. And as I'm filling it here, I can feel that there is a piece of cardboard underneath this. But now, it is not the full size of the pizza. It's a smaller piece of cardboard than the actual pizza is. So, when I take it out, I'll put it on a, um, a cutting, uh, cutting board to, uh, to cut it. So, it looks really, really good. What you want to do is uh, preheat your oven to 375 degrees, and this is going to bake anywhere from 15 to 18 minutes. I'm going to go the full 18 minutes. Um, and some of you that have commented when we've done these take and bake pizzas before, you have said you also go for a longer amount of time on these, even longer than the suggested. But, you know, we always try to follow the directions as much as we can the first time we have them. Uh, so I'm going to go for 18 minutes and then we'll be back to talk about it. Okay, so the pizza was in for 18 minutes and Kevin is going to cut it. Some of you have said that you um, like the flatbreads more than the round pizzas just because it's a, it's a flatbread crust. It's not a pizza crust. And so that will make a difference. But I, I wanted to try, um, wanted to make sure that we tried a round one. And at some point, we might get an extra large. But honestly, if they make the same flavors in the medium as they do the extra large, there's no point in us getting the extra large. Not for it's just us. Yeah, it's just the two of us eating it. We really don't need an <laughs> extra large pizza. Okay, so like I said, this is Mama Cozy's Pizza Kitchen, and Kevin... Just get, it's an Aldi brand, just in case you didn't know. It is an Aldi brand, and Kevin has, Kevin has another channel called Lunchtime Review. He has reviewed a lot of the Ma Mama mm -hmm, Cozy's. The frozen meals. Aren't those strombolis you've tried, Mama? Strombolis, I think I've tried some they're mostly Italian types. Yeah, so he, so if you're interested in more meatballs, of maybe. these, go to that channel, just type in Lunchtime Review, and then type in Mama Cozy, or maybe it's under Aldi, and it'll come up. Uh, but this is the meat, medium, ultimate meat, medium pizza. Sausage, pepperoni, beef, Philly steak, meat, and uncured bacon crumbles with a four cheese bit blend on a traditional crust. Uh, made with 100% real cheese. One fifth of the pizza is 390 calories. We did a six. So, um, so I, I didn't explain it very well, but you pre oven to 375 and you take it um, off the cardboard, of course. And I mean, I guess some people don't know. You take the plastic off and, and you put it on the, the center oven rack. And that's directly on the rack. Bracket, directly on the rack. And uh, what we usually do is, is take a big spatula and put it up under it and, and uh, slide, it out, on our cutting slide board. it out on the cutting board. Yeah. Works really good. So the steak, I, I told Hannah, I said, this is Philly steak piece. And you can see them, they're like little flat, like chopped steak. Yes. So I don't have one of those really right here. I've got like one here. There's not a ton of them, but there's like, here's one right here. I don't. Uh, no, they're very tender. I don't know if it's going to be too hot. I don't know. I don't know. That steak is, is really, really tender and it's um, it's got a good flavor to it. What do you think? Is the sauce too hot? Mm -mm. No, but I didn't take a huge bite. Mm. No, it's good. I got a bite of the pepperoni and I'm assuming that sausage. Mm hmm. It's good. It's not a. It's it's not spicy pepperoni or sausage really. No. We had a market side from Walmart with Italian sausage and it did have a spicier flavor and it was a stronger sausage flavor mm -hmm. uh, than this. I actually, I the like this. The sauce is stronger too. I like this. This is good. Mm -hmm. The crust is good. But I, I like that particular, of course, you, you 
The difference too is that was a flatbread from Walmart. This is not. This is a pizza crust and that was a flatbread flatbread. But I like um, this crust. I do like the crust. I, the only complaint I have is the flavors are kind of light. Yes, that's for, what for I like For a pizza, too. you know, you really want bold flavors, really uh, flavorful flavors, mm -hmm. lots of seasonings and stuff. Mm -hmm. It, this is good. I would definitely, I would eat this. I'm going to eat it for dinner, you know? Mm, oh, yeah. Um, it's good. But it's compared to the mm -hmm. Walmart brand, mm -hmm. I'd rather have the Walmart brand. Mm hmm. At, At least the flat bread. Yes. When, yes. We haven't tried one of the Walmart. Like, we have pizzas. not. We have not tried a round pizza, the market side pizza. Um, we've only had the flat bread. Mm -hmm. But we did buy some flat breads from Aldi. Mm -hmm. So, we're going to be trying flat, you know, we can tell you during those videos whether we like the Aldi more than the the Walmart. But between this pizza and that Walmart flatbread, I would choose the Walmart flatbread. I do really like the crust on this though. It's, it's good in the... I do too. There's nothing good, crisp, wrong um, with it. Texture, it's good and crispy. But for it to be special because it's supposed to be take and bake, Honestly, there's not that much difference to me between this and like a screaming Sicilian uh, that's been frozen. I can't tell that much of a difference. No, no, this, I mean, the, I think the, the flatbreads, texture... you can tell the difference in the texture and stuff. This one, you truly can't tell that much of a difference. No, I think the crust may be a little um, nicer than some of the frozen ones are, but but yeah, flavor-wise and stuff, it's it's just, it's yeah, good. Flavor-wise, it is good. It's very good. And, and gosh, you can't get any cheaper. For $4.89, would I buy this For again? For two people to eat pizza? Absolutely. I would buy this in a heartbeat. I would not hesitate to buy this again. For for four eight or nine. This is could, definitely better than a Tony's or a oh, Jack's absolutely. or one of the other cheap Yes, frozen absolutely. Pieces. I'm just saying a lot of people go to these take and bake because they're supposed to be a lot different. For this one specifically, I think if you're talking about one that has the vegetables on it, the because those tend to get watery when they're frozen. Mm -hmm. When you get them taken back, they're not supposed to be watery. Right, be Since this is just meat, I don't think it made that much of a difference it being taken back. That said, would I get it again? Absolutely. Yep. Yeah, that's good. Definitely. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.